Hello all, welcome to Kartik Tech Solution channel. Today in this video session we will learn how, if, then, else and every statement. How these statements used to work. And when we are writing the script, by taking this statement, how we can write including variable. Including a variable, I will give several script example after this because which script I am going to write now if in that script I will write variable things obviously it will be bit confusion for you guys for you guys in the sense for new eagerness guys and freshers whoever are already working it is nothing for them it is a kind of brush up for them whoever still following me and clicking my videos however it is for new guys not only for new guys even though for experience for an expert also i don't want to write that such kind of script which will be boring kind of thing okay so i am writing the script which will be a very small script and which will be work properly which will be give the proper response to us and which will be give the uh, our expectation a result this is what my main funda so that i am doing multiple videos instead of writing big big videos instead of creating big big videos instead of uploading big big videos which will be really kind of you know uh, irritating or things will be so that i uh, got some of the comment from my fan from the juniors what they said instead of writing uh two three concept in a particular video so make three videos in three different concepts and put it so that will be good understanding as well as uh, uh, you know it will be not irritating for them and i know you know this society is too much busy they can't spend half an hour for updating their cell they can't uh, spend half an hour for learning a new things but they will instead of half an hour they want to spend five minutes and yeah that is true i i, I do believe for some time even though i uh, felt uh, like that okay why what i'm looking i'm looking exactly this point of thing why i should uh, uh, worry about the some other thing what uh, uh, somebody is going to explain all the things okay right so what i need when i'll get I, i'm just looking about that only that's it so this is what i'm going to write a small script which script is going to describe about if then else and if i statement so how it will be how it will be i'll write a script uh, i'll write a uh, uh file i'll let a file for that cat suppose file three i'll give how it will be it will be like uh, this only how it will be like that if then else and fi this is what the statement how it will be how you can write you can write if and give your condition if what condition you want to give give the condition okay and then it will look forward according to your condition it will look forward once it's worked properly then what what it will look whatever thing is there okay whatever thing is there it will look it will work once it work if it's available if as for the condition if it's everything will be fine it will work and it will come out if it's not available that means else if it's not available or it's not not going to work that means else then what is the next according to that it will work once it work then it will once it work then it will come out. then it will save the file and come out. this is what all about it i'm going to write so now let's write script and uh, i'm going to write the script uh, with an example which will be better understanding for you guys so let me write it So, uh, take an example, a small example, I want to copy a file. If that file is available, then it will copy. If that file is not available, it will not copy, right? So, what I'll do, let me uh, give the script name like copy underscore file dot sh, okay? Now, give cvan bin and dash, clear the screen. Then what I'll do? Echo enter source file name and target 
get five. What this meaning? This meaning is nothing but enter source file name. It will ask us to give a file name. Once we give the file name, from where it's available and what data is available in that file, it will copy everything and then it will ask give a target file name. Okay, where we are pasting the data. Then we'll give a target file name. Okay, what it will do? It will copy whatever data are available from the source file and exactly it will store in the everything in the target file or destination file. This is what the main font. Nothing else. The heading I can. Now what it will do? Edit src trg. What it will? It's going to do? It will read the file. It will read the source and target file. Once it's found everything, yeah, target source and uh, target file both are available. Then what it will do? Then it will go for the condition. What condition? Condition is nothing but it will copy file, it will copy data from source file, and it will paste in destination. Nothing but target file. Okay. Then it will show file copy. If it's found source and target files are available then it will copy and then once it's copied then it will give us file copied successfully comment to us if anything source or target is not available then what it will do it will give the command help to copy something it's up to you however you will set it will give like that help to copy okay then save it this is what this is what I written the script, right? This is what I written the script. So what I will do? What I will do? Let me let me come out from this path. Let me come on this path where I am now. Now I am root only, right? So ls an ltr. Is there any directory? Yeah, directory one is there, right? So let me enter inside that one file called file name is there right file one is there so let me create one more one more empty file one more empty file touch file four file four is created right so if i'll cat if i'll cat file four nothing will be there because i didn't save anything right what is saying no data is available right so now let's go to my script where our script is available right where our script we enter which script I written now? Copy, right? Which script I written now? Which script I written now? This is right. Which one? Copy. So let me cat that. This is our file, right? So what I'll do here? Is there anything available uh, apart from this uh, directory or file? In direct one directory two is there. So let me enter in that. Or let me come out. Ls I can tell the directory. Okay, directory 2 belongs to root only, right? So let me enter directory 2 and check what is available. One file 2 is available, right? What is there in file 2? This is my testing file. Let's check whether it's working or not. Okay, okay, fine. So this is all about it. So now let me come out pwd ln okay what uh, i am going to execute this copy file.sh right so let me execute it let me execute once i enter what is saying enter source file name okay my source uh, i want to copy something i want to copy something from the file to and i want to store there okay copy what is saying enter source file name so source file name i'll give uh file uh, which one was available i'm sorry i forgot directory to cd directory to what is available file 2 is available right okay So now again execute this script. I given S instead of S I given C S. So sorry. 
so execute it then we file to what is saying missing destination file opened after file 2 try copy help for more information fail to copy the file anyway you get to know now file is not copying because of we did not give the proper path so else condition is working now right so now why then condition is not worked we need to check we need to fix this right so what we need to do here what we need to do just uh, write two file here itself write two file here instead of giving different file write two file here itself so what i'll do that file or that f1 kartik gones ram sam something i written okay then save it if i look at f1 this information are there right so tops file to i'll get in which file nothing is there right so now what i'll do i'll execute that i'll copy f1 to f2 so see that's happening or not so what i'll do sh copy f1 missing destination file Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, we need to give destination as well as both file name. So, F1 and F2. What is saying? File copied successfully. It means, it means we created two file, right? F1 and F2. So, if we cat F1, whatever was there in F2, the same thing is there. But in F2, we did not, we did not write any data, right? But in F2 also, it's available. Right. So this is what the thing is working. And I, as I have not given anything, the first which was uh, uh, showing what instead of uh, file copied successfully, it was showing uh, file unable to copy something, file not able to copy, right? Or not able to copy the file, right? It means it was unable to copy so that I given that response, right? So this is what all about it, how you uh, can write a script and applying the condition, applying the if then else fi condition which will be working by this procedure okay so like here i create two more file f1 and f2 in f1 i given some of the data in f2 would be f2 was completely empty now everything is copied in i create uh, these two file in this current directory itself if you want to you can keep you can uh, create in the different different uh, directory that it's not going to impact i don't think so it will be we can check here we can check here by executing one more time so what i'll do I'll give F1 here, then I'll give directory one and one file one is available, right? Copy it successfully. Copy it successfully. So what is there in F1? What is there in F1? Karti Gunner, something like that, right? So now let me go to root. Let me go to root. Then directory one is there, right? Directory one is there. This is right. So enter in that. Enter in that then file one we copied into the file one so let me cat it let me cat it. see everything is copied here also right so this is the way how this script is working well so this is all about this script uh end of the session i like to request you the same like however i i am requesting since day one and uh, however you guys are giving response good feedback as well the same thing please do like share subscribe and comment in comment box uh even though if still you did not understand anything i'd like to request you please uh, write in the comment box so that i can uh, give the uh, response and i, I can uh, troubleshoot if you are facing any challenge and all okay if it's possible i can reach you by more remotely as well uh well uh, thanks to clicking this videos uh please keep up uh, whenever uh, please click whenever i am uploading any videos and uh, uh, please subscribe my channel so that you can get to know whenever I'm uploading any new new videos according to new new concepts.